time in here as you have heard about by now possibly <laughs> I make all these videos and the fun part is sitting down at the end of the day and trying to fit them together in some kind of order <laughs> so it makes sense <laughs> and as usual I'm running like around not like a chicken with my head cut off it's not like I don't know what I'm doing. I'm more like a squirrel. I've got nuts hidden all over two acres of land. So I am in a continuous building paths, um, designing in my head what comes next. I have planted potatoes. I didn't even tell you about that. I came in here today because I just wanted to enjoy a little morning time, but I also have my leather working in here, and my new moccasins already have a hole in them. I say new. I am, I'm very hard on shoes. Um, and I decided that if duct tape would seal those holes and keep those shoes on my feet for weeks more, imagine if I took a piece of leather and glued it on like a whole nother little sole. I don't know how it's going to work. It may or may not be what I need to do, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm thinking glue and leather, uh, leather glue will be better than duct tape. We'll see. <laughs> That's the big project for today. Is that all I'm planning on doing? Well, that and hanging the curtain in here. So now I have both curtains up and I realize it is not going to be enough for the summer. Last summer, it was almost impossible to keep it cool enough in here at any time of day where it was nice. There were little moments of, during the day, but very few and far between. So I am thinking as I always am. I was thinking a canvas roof. Now the issue that I'm going to have, even with canvas, is the same issue I would have if I put up a tarp. And that's what happened last year. Now those tarps lasted me all summer. <laughs> so one whole summer with a tarp would be sufficient. But I'm thinking if I designed it 
in such a way that now first I have to get the canvas and when I say canvas I'm thinking cotton painters cloth canvas that kind of canvas um, it's what I've made curtains out of and multitudinous other things because I found a really good size I didn't find a good deal it was just a regular deal but it was worth the money for all the fabric I got um, it makes for a lot of different things. I have extra fabric, but I do not have enough. Well, if I put everything together, but that would mean I'd lose curtains where I really need the curtains. So, what I'm thinking is get the canvas and around the outer edge where it would meet with the, um, the roof. See how it comes over the edge? This edge, it worked like a saw blade <laughs> in the wind. And so if I could stitch a padding of some sorts in there that could withstand, I mean, there's not much, but I mean, you know, it would, there's not much that could withstand that other than a piece of plastic. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something, so stay tuned, cause the greenhouse is very important to me. And um, it's just a very important place, and I really want it, you know, I've been working on it for, uh, by myself now. Bob's been gone almost a whole year. He would have loved it in here. And he would help, he'd help me figure out a way to do this. <laughs> and if all else fails, I'll just buy a big tarp and put it down. I do have a better, I think, a better way of doing it um, that will secure it. I'm gonna see if I could find some cotton canvas big enough, but first things first, I gotta measure. Bye! <laughs> and I've got measuring tape big enough to do it, but I know there's some math, and I don't know what it is, because it has to fit here and go up the peak and then come down. So it's not like this straight across measurement is gonna be wide enough. I just don't know how to get this into the equation. <laughs> it's not that I didn't want to learn algebra. It's that the same thing, it, it doesn't make sense to me. It's numbers on a paper. I understand why you need to know them, but I can't remember the formulas, the recipes. <laughs> Because I was never going to be a mathematician. And I've done, I do a lot of eyeballing when I sew. As you can tell, that's why things come and go and get all crazy looking sometimes. Speaking of, I have so much sewing to do. So I hope that y'all will um, enjoy watching some little bits and pieces of how I keep myself busy in the desert, doing all the things. Oh my goodness, if I could accomplish all the things that are in my head, you would just be, you'd really be amazed. <laughs> I got the list is always going and I make a little progress every day. I'm talking inches so that it takes a long time to get a project done. It's not like you're gonna get a project usually start to finish in one video, uh, generally because I'm designing as I go. <laughs> I gotta make a shelf in here. I got to. It's like I won't even hardly film that corner. I'll show you. See that? All this, all this mess over here. That is supposed to be. That's my. Re that's a little refrigerator, and. Then we've got the cooler has 
supplies any. Anyway, I want to build a shelf out of pallets that will cover that area so I can get things off the ground and they sit in the like a cabinet. So what do you think? <laughs> oh my goodness. I just think I can do anything, don't I? <sighs> hey, let's go put some leather on the bottom of my boots, my little moccasin boots, and let's see how that does. I love y'all. Oh, how I long to bring hope to the masses But I am blind to the need right in front of me Help me remember life grows from the ashes Open my eyes to see clearly Lord, I am asking you why I'm willing Lord, won't you please help me do what you're bidding I need the courage, I know you can help me Am I ready? I don't know Am I ready? You seem to think The distractions kept me from hearing The quiet whisper of your call Telling me you were the one I was needing Always forgiving me when I was weak Silently guiding through valleys and peaks All the while shining Now I'm ready, and now I know Keep me steady, I still need to grow for all the swamp cooler noise but it's hot in here but we'll see how that does so did you see that mess I made Lordy mercy 
that's kind of what I do. I make a mess. Now, the first one I did... It's not got as much glue. This one's got a lot of glue, but you gotta let them dry or set. So that's what I'm doing now. Your day life won't always hand you roses. Don't let it get you down. Keep your eyes on what your gold is and your feet on solid ground. Take this wind where you go. You are love, 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 love. You are love, yeah, you are. You are love, love. I love you. 